everybody! Today we are going to experience and learn several techniques to quiet our mind. At first, let's take a minute, sit quietly and observe what is happening in our head. You could do it either with your eyes open or closed, whatever feels best for you. Don't judge or focus on any particular thought, just observe what is going on in your mind. Let's take a minute to do that right now. As you see, there is a constant flow of all kinds of thoughts in your head. Maybe you are thinking about problems or memories of the past or conversation you had with someone earlier or plans you have in the future or you are going over your shopping list. Our mind is constantly busy working and oftentimes we are not in control of our thoughts. It takes a lot of energy to support all the work our mind is doing. Any time we are thinking about the past or the future or about a particular person, we send part of our energies there, depleting ourselves of that energy to be used here and now. Shouldn't we be in control how to utilize our energy rather than our uncontrolled mind? Yes, we should be, and this is a skill we can all learn and perfect with practice. All of us can probably remember a situation where we had to make an important decision and it came to us as a barely noticeable thought. It was simply there in our head. Yet we turned our mind, logic, looked at possible solutions and made the wrong decision as a result. Later we thought, why didn't I listen to that quiet voice? Due to constant flow of thoughts that keep us busy, and really occupy our mind, we are not used to trusting and reacting to the quiet, less noticeable, faint voice in our head. Oftentimes this is very accurate information that is coming from the universe to help us to get our answers. Can we do anything about it? Absolutely! We can learn to quiet our mind. There are three categories of exercises that can help stop our uncontrolled flow of thoughts. This includes techniques for thought replacement, concentration techniques, and thought suppression techniques. Now let's look at each one of them. At first, I will explain each exercise and after we will practice them. The bottom line of thought replacement technique is substitution of uncontrolled thoughts by repeating a specific phrase or sound. For example, using mantra like the sound OM. If someone repeats such sound for a few hours, a person will shift to another state of consciousness. Such person will show paranormal abilities and have strong connection with the universe. The information will flow effortlessly. Also, one can use prayer to accomplish that. Such person will need to concentrate on a prayer for a prolonged period of time and repeat it with the true emotion behind it. Another option is to utilize affirmations for this process. Two specific statements such as I am healthy or I am emotionally balanced. Remember, affirmations have to be written as I statement in the first person, in present tense, and utilizing positive words, avoiding saying words like no and not. For example, we should say I am healthy instead of I am not sick. Another option of for thought replacement technique is to count from 1 to 100 many times in a row. This is just one way of quieting your mind, which requires hours of work at a time. Another way to quiet our mind is a concentration method. The bottom line of it is to focus your attention on an object outside of yourself 
or internal process. For example, you can focus on a dot on the wall or any picture. The most important rule of such exercise is absence of any thoughts related to the object of your concentration. Simply look or feel without verbalizing anything about it. For example, if you are looking at the picture, just look. Don't start to figure out what kind of paint the painter used, what place the picture reminds you of, or in what store you saw a similar picture. If the thoughts come to your head, you can wait until they pass as clouds in the sky, or use another way to let them go. Let's practice it for a minute. Choose something to concentrate on in a place where you are right now. Look around. Choose one object. Sit comfortably facing that object. Keep your eyes open. Focus all your attention on that object. If any thoughts come, allow them to pass as clouds in the sky. Keep looking. Very good. Continue staying focused. Excellent. Now shift your attention back to your computer. How did it go for you? If you would like to work with an internal process, you can concentrate on your breathing. You can count your breaths either as you inhale or as you exhale. It is said that it is more difficult to count inhalations. The most important part of this exercise is to count until 10 and then start over. If you count it over or miscount it, you can start from the beginning. Even so, this exercise is very simple. Not too many people can do it for 20 minutes without going over 10. This exercise is also useful for developing attention and concentration. Let's practice it for a few minutes right now. Sit comfortably. You can do it with your eyes open or closed. Concentrate on your normal breathing. In your mind, Count either as you inhale or as you exhale from 1 to 10. As you reach 10, start over. If you went over 10 or miscounted, begin again. I will give you a few minutes to practice it. You're doing great. Keep counting. Very good. Excellent. 
excellent. Let's now stop. How was it for you? How did it go? You need to practice such exercises 20 minutes per day to reach 5 to 10 minutes of quiet time in a row in your mind. One more way to keep your mind quiet is thought suppression method. It includes many different techniques. For example, you can imagine that you have a towel in your hand and erase with it all the thoughts in your head. As soon as any thought appears, you take a towel in your hand and erase it. If you see images, it is okay. It is important not to have thoughts and phrases about what you see. As soon as a thought appears, erase it. Initially, you may have difficulty separating thoughts from images. But after a little practice, you will be able to see images without verbal component. Let's try it right now for a few minutes. Please sit comfortably. Close your eyes. It may be easier than keeping them open. Focus your attention on your mind. As soon as thought comes in, Erase it with a towel. Continue erasing it as they appear. So let's take a few minutes to do that and keep erasing your thoughts. You're doing such a great job. Excellent. You're doing great. Wonderful. Now please open your eyes. How did it go for you? How was it? The next exercise is good to use to let go of your thoughts. The name for this exercise is aquarium. Imagine that you are sitting at the bottom of the aquarium surrounded by water. The water fills your body as if you were a sponge. As soon as you become aware of thought in your head, imagine that the bubble of air surrounds it and takes it up to the surface of the water. The bubble bursts and everything disappears. And you repeat this process with every thought that comes to your head. Let's try it right now for a few minutes. Please sit comfortably. Close your eyes. It may be easier than keeping them open. Imagine being at the bottom of the aquarium surrounded by water. As soon as you become aware of a thought in your head, 
Imagine that the bubble of air surrounds that thought and takes it up to the surface of the water. The bubble bursts and everything disappears. Continue to do it for a minute or two. You are doing great. Wonderful. Good job, everybody. Let's finish this one right now. Please open your eyes. How was it for you? Let's do two more exercises. Scientists discovered that there is a connection between flow of thoughts in our head and movement of pupils in our eyes. With every thought that we have in our head, there is a corresponding micro-movement of our pupils. Since the connection is strong and goes both ways, it means that every time we move our pupils, we have thoughts, and when we have thoughts, we move our pupils. We will utilize this connection for our next exercise called stones. Imagine that you have small but heavy stones at your pupils. This stone don't allow pupils to move. Your pupils are motionless. If you can truly imagine and feel it, it will help to stop flow of thoughts in your head. Simply observe yourself having motionless pupils and quiet mind. Let's try it now. Sit comfortably. Allow your head to bend down a little, facing toward the floor. Close your eyes and become aware of your eyes. Now imagine and feel the stones at the pupils of your eyes. Your pupils are becoming motionless. Just observe yourself having a quiet mind. Let's take a minute to experience that. You're doing great.
excellent. Stay there in the quietness of your mind. Great job, everybody. Now imagine the stones being lifted and pupils moving normally again. Wonderful. If you need to open and close your eyes for a few times, please do so. How did it go for you? Our next exercise is a little more complex and recommended to be used once you tried everything else. Let me explain it to you and after we will practice it. Imagine that your head is a room filled with different things. Each thing is related to an event or a person in your life. For example, a couch is your job table is your best friend, chair is your parents, and so on. One by one, take each thing and carry it outside of that room, leaving the room absolutely empty. After the room is empty, take yourself outside of the room and close the door from the outside. You must leave the room, your head, absolutely empty from all things and thoughts associated with them. Imagine having a window or a tiny hole you can peek through to see inside the room. You can once in a while look through it to see if anything appeared in the room. If yes, open the door, go in and carry it out, and lock the door again. In this scenario, you will be the non-obtrusive observer who is simply watching what is happening in your head, which is empty room, and removing any objects appearing there. Now let's take about five minutes to practice this exercise. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, take a few deep slow breaths, inhaling slowly through your nose and exhaling slowly through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly exhale. One more deep breath in and slowly exhale. Imagine that your head is a room filled with different things. Each thing is related to an event or a person in your life. Allow your subconscious mind to guide you and show you what you need to see. One by one, 
take each thing and carry it outside of that room, leaving the room absolutely empty. After the room is empty, take yourself outside of the room and close the door from the outside. You must leave the room, your head, absolutely empty from all things and thoughts associated with them. Imagine having a window or a tiny hole you can peek through into the room and you can once in a while look there and see if anything appeared in the room. If yes, Open the door, go in, and carry it out, and lock the door again. We will take a few minutes to continue with this process. You're doing great. Wonderful. Continue with this process. Great job, everybody. Excellent.
Now, as I count from 1 to 3, you will return to the space you are in, being wide awake. 1 2 3. Open your eyes wide awake. Great job, everybody! How did it go for you? We have tried several different techniques and various exercises today. You can choose one of them to use or combine them or choose several to use at different times in your life. For example, you can use the towel to erase your thoughts while you're concentrating on a picture. All of these exercises require regular practice. About 20 minutes per day on a regular basis is enough time to get the results. What are the benefits? Quiet mind. Ability to hear that faint voice of the universe providing the answers to your questions and solutions to your life's issues. And ability to receive accurate information you need in your life. If you would like more guidance or prefer to work individually with me on helping you learn to quiet your mind or work on other issues, please call me or email me. I provide a variety of services to help you address physical, emotional, spiritual and other needs. Thank you for joining me tonight. Feel free to call me or email me if you have more questions or would like additional information regarding this topic seminar your health is in your hands or services I provide. Have a great evening everybody!